Months ago, I covered the Saltman Knowles Quintet as they recorded material for their next album. I had a chance to see them for the first time since being in the studio. They were live at HR 57 in Washington, D.C. Oh, uh, I feel great right now. Um, just getting to play this music is like such a treat for us and uh, it makes us feel great. Is this all your new material from your studio? Yes, this is all uh, stuff from our latest record. I mean, our newest record is not out yet. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a thing. No, we don't have a working oh, Well, we sort of do. We sort of do. Uh, the working title is going to be Return of the Composer. Yeah, there we go. And that's kind of a, a takeoff of Return of the Jedi, of course. But um, it's, it's sort of like the same vein about how a lot of music today doesn't contain melodic material, and so we're sort of trying to bring, bring that back in. Junebug, the Saltman Knowles drummer, loves to keep things lively by entertaining the crowd in between songs. Mark and William were excited for their group's success and playing together again. Can we play one more? Yes, yeah, this I is our first song. Our I first, think it is. This is our first live performance of that material. Of some of it. Some yeah, of it. Some, some of it we yeah. played before, and um, I think we also played some of our older tunes too. The main mission of Salman Knowles is to add to the great tradition of jazz composers and leave their mark on music. Having a little that nervous energy is always good. Uh, having a little bit of that, that that feeling is good. Sometimes you get nervous, but. You know, once the music starts, you start to relax into it. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a feeling and awareness. You know, the audience is there. With the flexibility of jazz music being so wide open, the group explained how they're able to maintain an organized structure while performing live as opposed to being in the studio. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's much more open. You know, whoever jumps first, like jump ball, basketball, you know, whoever goes first, and, uh, and you kind of say your piece. You wanna, it's not as limited like in the studio, we, wanna, we don't want it to be too long, but here we have a chance to open up and actually stretch out and play a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah there are no, there's less rules, you know. But when you record something, like, like you're saying, we want to keep it to five, six, seven minutes, you don't want it to go on endlessly. Here, if it goes 20 minutes and it's great and it's feeling great, by all means. Next up for the group is a big jazz festival in New York City, where they were selected to perform alongside world-renowned jazz legends and peers. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's great to see the music on people, to see how people react to the music, uh, and to be out here where it is. Uh, I mean, it's one thing to be in a studio and everything is polished, but it's nice to actually be live and actually feel the energy of the room. Yeah. You know, it was a little tough at first to get something out of the people, but, uh, you know, Bug is crazy. He's going to chill you, <laughs> and we're going to laugh a little bit, and pretty soon we're all having a good time, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Yes. 